Hey, what's up everyone? Ethan Ader here with Blade RC and welcome to the first official build video of the Blade Fusion 550 kit. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna go over the tools that I have here with me. As you can see, I have a pair of needle nose pliers. I also have ball link pliers. I also have a 1.5 millimeter hex driver as well as a two, 2.5, three, and four. Those are gonna be the key tools that you will want to use for building the Fusion 550. Let's go ahead and locate the parts bag that's letter F. As you can see, you have the main frame plate. You also have the bag, parts bag that is labeled M. This contains your main landing gear as well as your main frame key components, aluminum parts, like your uh, bearing blocks, um, battery tray, things like that. So we'll go ahead and get started once you find these two bags and follow along with us. All right, so the first step in building up the mainframe is going to be installing the front and rear canopy posts, attaching them to the mainframe. What you'll want to have is a 2.5 millimeter hex driver, as well as some blue Loctite. The awesome thing is blade included, a little bottle of blue Loctite that you can use throughout your build. You also want to find the parts bag under the M bag. You will find the M1 bag located inside of there. These are going to contain your front and rear canopy posts as well as some other parts that we will be using later. One thing to keep in mind is that you will see two canopy posts that contain the letter F on them. That denotes the fact that they are the canopy posts that go in the front. And with the canopy posts on, you can go ahead and locate the upper and lower bearing blocks that are located in the M2 parts bag. One way to denote the upper versus the lower is the upper contains these two extra screws over here that hold the anti-rotation pin for the swash plate. With the upper and lower bearing blocks mounted onto the main frames, you can go ahead and locate the parts bag M1 and M3 to find the two frame posts as well as the two landing gear mounts. So let's go ahead and install these four pieces onto the main frame.
And with the frame posts and the landing gear mounts attached to the mainframe, it's time for one of my favorite parts on building a helicopter, which is installing the landing gear. I love it just because you can get the frame up off the ground. It just starts to look like a helicopter at this point. So go ahead and locate the landing gear halves, the plastic landing gear halves that are located in parts bag M. And then in parts bag M3, you will see the plastic straps as well as the screws that are used to secure the landing gear halves onto the mainframe. One thing that is worth mentioning is the fact that we were using the 2.5 millimeter hex driver for the previous steps. On this step, we are gonna use the two millimeter hex driver, so just make sure you have one handy. And just like that, we have the Fusion 550 mainframe sitting on a nice pair of landing gear. And locating parts bag M4, you will find the tail belt guide. Go ahead and find your 2.5 millimeter hex driver. That is gonna be used to install this to the mainframe. Keep in mind as well, since this is a speed build kit, these pulleys right here are attached through these two screws and this bracket. These are already Loctited and assembled from the factory. The only four screws that you have to worry about on this step are these four screws located right here. Now it's time to attach the main head assembly and the main gear into the airframe. Go ahead and locate the parts as shown. We have the main head, which was in bag H1, the main shaft, which was in bag H2, the swash plate is in bag H3, the main gear is in bag H4, and then you'll also want the tail belt, which is in bag T1. All right, next we can install the main shaft onto the mainframe and bolt up the main gear to attach it to the main shaft. So it's essentially done through just this one bolt that was located on the main gear that you loosened up. You can go ahead and grab your three millimeter hex driver that you used to install the head block onto the main shaft. And with the main gear attached to the main shaft, now is a good time to check for up and down play like so. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I have a little bit of up and down play. 
in the main shaft. This can easily be eliminated with the included shims that comes with the main shaft. Uh, it just takes one bolt in order to remove the main gear and slide on the shims. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. And with adding those three shims right here, you can see that there is no up and down play in the main shaft. One thing to keep in mind is you might not use all three, just use however many it takes to eliminate the play. Now is a good time to just go ahead and pop in these follow arms onto the swash plate. Next, we can go ahead and install the motor to the frame. So go ahead and locate your motor, locate your motor pinion, as well as your motor mount and your screws. The motor mount's gonna be in bag M5 and the pinion is gonna be in bag M4. You also want to have your two millimeter and 2.5 millimeter handy to install these components. Up next, we can secure the motor pinion to the motor shaft. Keep in mind that there is a flat spot on the shaft. Just make sure one of the two set screws is in line with that flat spot. This will help in securing the pinion and making sure that it does not slip off. One of the best ways to ensure that the pinion is installed at the correct length is to look at the motor mount like this, make sure it's nice and flush, and you'll want to see that the bottom of the pinion is flush with the motor mount like so. And now that we have our pinion properly installed to the motor shaft, it's time to install the main motor to the airframe. With these four motor mount screws not tightened down all the way, you can see that we can still move the motor mount back and forth. This is to adjust the gear mesh for the main gear. Now, what I like to do is I like to push the pinion all the way up against the main gear and then back it up ever so slightly so that whenever you move the main gear, you can feel a small click. You almost can't even see it, but you can just feel a tiny little click in the main gear. And that's how I like to set my gear mesh. So once the gear mesh is set the way you like it, you can go ahead and tighten down all four of these motor mount screws, and then you can unscrew each individual one, lock tight it, put it back in, and then move on to the next one like so. And just like that, everyone, the main head, the main gear, the main frame and motor are all assembled and installed. Be sure to check out the next video where we will be assembling the tail and installing it to the main frame. And then followed by that, we will be installing our electronics like our ESC. So we'll be mounting the battery and ESC along with the tray up front, as well as installing the servos and flight controller. So yeah, be sure to check out those videos coming soon. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Blade RC content.